Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. We are back on the dev server, and it's time to have a look at the Christian 2. This is a pre-order vehicle uh, that is available for the Swedish, and it's part of, you know, basically the rank 8 uh, escapades that have come in for ground. Last update, we had rank 8 uh, brought in, brought in a bunch of new vehicles, and now they're kind of catching up with the premiums. So the Christian 2, alongside the Centauro and also the Type 90, are just pre-orders which are new rank 7s that people can play to be able to get access to the top stuff. So what is the Christian 2? Well, it is slightly unique, but not really when it comes to the game. Um, it is a Leopard 2A4. It's an SDRV121 that they wanted to uh, kind of improve to the 122 standard. So they added a bunch of stuff inside of it internally, which won't really matter in the game. Uh, they changed the smoke launchers, so you actually have less smokes now, and uh, obviously you know, a bit of camo netting to try and sell it to people. Uh, so the vehicle functionally in War Thunder is just a Leopard 204. There's no real difference between it and the others, apart from it has less smoke grenades. So you now have your your third Leopard 204 in the Swedish tech tree. Because you've got the STRV-121, the actual Leopard 204 from Finland, and now you have the Christian 2, which is basically just a Leopard 204. Uh, so maybe in the future, when they decide to have a bit of fun with FCSs and other things for tanks, maybe then there'll be differences between this and the standard 2A4s, but at the moment, that's not the case. Uh, it even gets the same round, the DM23, so they didn't upgrade that at all, probably to keep it at 10-3, since you don't really want to BR this thing based on a round. So what factors make the 2A4 good? It's basically the fact that it has a really good all-around system. It's got the 1500 horsepower engine coupled with the good transmission, so you can move around quite rapidly on the diesel engine. It has pretty good armor in the front of it too, uh, with the uh, massive amounts in the turrets, and also a decent cover in the uh, kind of hull as well. Has a bit of armor on the sides too, uh, just to give it a bit of extra protection. Has a blowout panel in the back, so if your ammo gets hit, you usually can survive. And also the crew is placed in pretty defensible positions too. It has a crew of four, the driver, the loader, the commander, and also the gunner, which uh, is pretty standard across the way. I would say that the 2A4 is, well, very much the bog standard for Western MBTs, and it does everything well. You know, it has the good gun depression. The reload rate isn't as good as some of the other vehicles around the place, but it's still fine. Has very good targeting speed. Doesn't have a 50 cal, which sucks, but does have at least a MG3 right there, uh, and also has a coaxial one too. And also just has smokes and ESS and thermals and all of those things. So this is in a good place. You know, it has access to all the stuff you want. The uh, HE shell is quite funny. I don't know why uh, that's a modification, but it's there. But the main thing is the DM23 laser rangefinder and thermal package. That's why you're getting this vehicle, plus the mobility just to have a bit of fun with. And the crazy thing about Sweden is you have to ask yourself, do you actually want this vehicle? Because at 10-3, you got a strong lineup. You know, 2A4, STRV-121, the Christian 2 now. Then also, you got the Azrad, which is actually a really good AA when used properly. And then you can bring along the Tenos too. The STRV-9040C, the Bill, the LVKV, and also the CV-9105. Or, do you just want to play at 10 and get the CV-9105 when it's on offer? That's the question you have to ask. Because this is just a Leopard 2A4. It's exactly the same as two of the others you can already play. The CV9105 gives you something unique. It gives you better thermals, gives you a really good autoloader, better gun depression, scouting, and all of these different things. Whereas the Christian 2 just gives you more of the same. More of the stuff that you've seen before, and more of the stuff that you can already grind in the tech tree. Now, does that make it a bad vehicle? Of course not. It's still a fantastic vehicle, It'll still do really well across the board. I should probably check the camouflages for you. It, but at the same time, is it something that's, you know, really wow or, you know, really interesting to uh, kind of cover? Not really, because it's just something that's already kind of existed. And you can see here all of the different Swedish camos that it has access to. 
For me, I always prefer the tricolor winter camo. Uh, that's the one that's there, and uh, it looks really nice. So for this purchase, you get a good vehicle, just like you know the other Leopard Two for the the premium German one. That's it. This is just a basic copy of it with slightly different grenades. So will it be good? Yes, it will be good. Will it be interesting, entertaining, different? No, it'll be exactly the same as a bunch of other vehicles that are already in the game. And this is something we actually talked about over the last period of time. You're going to start getting these vehicles where you're going to get 10 separate variants of them and they're all going to be exactly the same. And that's what you get from this. You're not getting anything new. <laughs> it's all basically the same. You're getting some insignias, decals, and whatever pre-order things are available. You're getting the Gen 1 thermals, you're getting the DM23. You're getting a very good vehicle that will be able to do so much in the game, and it'll have a great time doing it. With slightly worse efficiency, because it has less smoke grenades. Will that make any difference whatsoever? Probably not. You'll still have a great time. I still think the CV-90-105 is the way to go, though, because at least it's interesting and different and also will be on sale sooner than this vehicle. There's no reason to really pick this thing up, especially if you're just going to grind the Swedish tech tree anyway, because you're going to just end up replacing it with the other Leopard 2A4s that are in the place. Hopefully in the future we can get a few more unique things uh, for the Swedish and I'm sure they will at the higher echelons, but at least right now, this is kind of dull. This would be probably the, well, I don't know, maybe the 10th <laughs> to Leopard 2 that I will have played. Probably even more than that. It's crazy how many are in the game right now. As always, though, hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. I'd like to thank Schnitzel Stroker, Brendan Quinn, Vilnaeus, Character Fuel, Carrion Crow, Nicholas Richardson, Gus Irenicus, Pyman, Wartinder, Teddy, Daniel Stanton, B. Young, Opium Prime, Masonocrats, Lafouche, Alan Hacker, Sam Arslan, Uncle Bean, and Derek R. for supporting the channel.